Hello again everyone, so today we're going to take a look at this Hot Wheels, the 2020 Jaguar F-Type. I believe this is the facelifted model, the most recent one. And uh, from the blister, it looks pretty good. So let's take a closer look and see what kind of scale it's running at as well. So the F-Type here first came out in 2013, and it's a shortened version based on the XK chassis. It's supposed to be the success, spiritual successor to the E-Type. That I don't know of, to be honest with you. I'm not seeing the similarities too much, but anyways, big uh, choices in engines. Base model could be a 2.0-liter turbocharged 4, rated around 300 horsepower, a couple V6 options, and then the F-Type R is a 5.0-liter supercharged V8, running 575. Uh, PS or European horsepower. It has an all aluminum chassis and is assembled with flush rivets and glue. This is all coming from the internet, guys. I don't know this stuff by heart. It's supposed to have a retractable rear wing and actually the door handles are retractable. So they're flush when the car is driving, but they'll pop out when they need to. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Now, the length of this is 4470 millimeters in the real world. So if I take my calipers here, let's see here, zero on, zero, let's measure the length of this thing. Okay, so I guess 71.8 millimeters. So let me see, 4470 divided by 70, what was it now? 71.8. Seventy-one point six. Is that right? Seventy-one point eight. Okay, so this is around one sixty-two scale, a little bit more than that. So that's not too far off, one sixty-two. Anyways, just uh, thought that would be interesting to know. So if we look at the photos here behind. It, it looks pretty realistic. I mean, uh, look at this photo here, right? Even the wheels are kind of similar to this this one's wheels. So, pretty good job, Hot Wheels. If we look at the back, it actually is similar there as well, the little underfairing and diffuser area. But anyways, so compared to the photos, this seems all right. Let's get the pick of scrutiny out though and see what's going on here. So, the casting lines, the panel lines, kind of big there. It's not so bad here in the door. There should be silver here, but I understand, you know, how is an imprint on every side of a vehicle. So, these mirrors are actually better than usual, I think. They actually stick out a decent amount. So that's pretty neat. Okay, some vents here. I'm sure there's probably, should be black there on the real car. A little Sharpie will probably clean that up. So we got texture in here, and then a little circle for the logo. And then here we got another texture you can hear. And then the headlights are printed pretty cool. They're supposed to be these little LED headlights. And yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Mm, the belly pan, the spoiler is quite thick though. But I think it has to be for, you know, ch young children to be playing with and stepping on and stuff like that. Uh, this side of the car, yeah, a little bit of the casting problems there. Some roughness in the casting. But this paint's pretty cool. Well, I don't know. It's a little splotchy. It's uh, actually very splotchy now I think of it. Like, I don't know what's happening, to be honest with you. It's partially because the casting has a lot of scratches in it, but partially because I think it's like the flakes or something are pooling in a weird way. I've seen this happen on other brands too, like Kyosho and stuff. So I'm not sure what happened with this color of uh, metallic here. But here in the back, we got this license plate area, which I believe is a tongue that's part of this plate, and it grooves into this casting. Would have been nice to have like a plate number there. Anyways, and also some silver paint here will be needed. But the actual shaping of the, the car and the, the mold is pretty good, I think. It's just that uh, the finish of the paint is a little bit weird. It's also a contaminant right there. So, well, you know, this is a mainline Hot Wheels. It's a little gouge here. And molded interior, I'm sure it's nice, but it's, they have dark glass, so it's really hard to see the interior on these things. Anyways, let's see here. This came in 2020, right. So, one rivet, yeah, because of the tongue and groove back here. Okay, 
Well, anyways, for the price of a mainline, I think it's a pretty sweet model. Is it going to be as good as a resin? No, but uh, again, it's a tenth of the price, so I'm pretty good with it for now. I really just buy these things to do these 3D wheel projects. So I'm going to find a different set of wheels and come back. Okay, so I'm back here with some uh, 3D printed wheels, of course, and I want to really go for the... 3D printing technology where I have some overlapping spokes like you'll see this spoke is literally going underneath that those two spokes so this is something that could never be done in the regular sense of a molded wheel only 3D printing would allow this kind of thing to happen and uh, I looked up you know images of Jags with uh, different wheels but they all seemed pretty simple so I uh, decided to go with these uh, now the tires are a bit oversized and uh, they look a little bit off-roady on this. I should have done a lower profile for a Jag, but I was thinking maybe I'll put these wheels on a different vehicle later on in the future, so I'm gonna go with this one. And I originally actually painted these things silver, but it just looked too boring on a dark silver car, so I went with this crazy copper color, just because I don't see many copper colored wheels in the real world. So beyond the wheels themselves, uh, well actually there is a brake system back there, but I don't think you can really see because of the, those overlapping spokes, but uh, yeah, there's a caliper way back there in a rotor, but anyways. So I'm okay with it. Uh, I went ahead and added a little silver here because this is uh, very often a chrome piece. And then I painted the muffler tips and it's actually kind of hard to do to get that little black dot in there but yeah silver and a little black on top of that and then just a little silver here for the emblem there so that's really all I did for the extra work oh and the mirrors I added a little silver paint there since I had it out anyways so let's get it up here on the spin thing here and uh, also there's a picture of a, a car right there so it's definitely different from that image and those are pretty cool wheels on the real photo there, but uh, I think it's a little too simple. When I have a 3D printer, I can create designs that, you know, wouldn't be possible with the traditional sense of a, a mold. So that's what I went for. Okay, guys, well, I found another joke here. No credit to who wrote this joke, but why did the Jaguar stop playing poker at the safari? Because all the other cats were cheetahs.